Well, hey there, purple people. It's time for another Purple Gang Gang style review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Cosmic Legion's Altar Silovius figure. He's from the recent release of the Outpost Zaxius Wave, and he's a figure from the Four Horsemen Studios. If you didn't know that already, now you know it because we, we like to share the information here. The cover picture is by the one and only Trevor Williams, a.k.a. 1-6 Shooter, and I got that directly from the Source Horseman website, which should be your source for all things Mythic and Cosmic Legions. And let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, Altar Silovius is a Greyborn. His affiliation is the Maze Planet of Origin, Nevoz 51. So let's go ahead and dive into the uh, gathered intelligence on this subject. The Greyborn's ability to access a transcendental state known as the Grey has granted them considerable power as well as a measure of celebrity. In Cosmerium, the Maze, which stands for Meshed Assemblage of Zonal Enlightenment, is a recognized system-wide as a source of information, and those who wield that information help shape the opinions of the populace. Yet, despite this power and influence, there are those among the Greyborn who believe that the maze is being used improperly and they long for a return to the ways of old. Altar Silovius is a Greyborn traditionalist, one of a growing number of this race who have begun to argue for a return to the days before. The maze and their association with official government bodies, a belief that information should be shared freely and without dilution or added interpretation of the facts is what Altar and the traditionalists have argued. It is a stance which has brought them to the attention of many in Cosmerium, including some who agree with what they preach and others who wish to see the sermons and those who speak them silenced. And if you'd like more information about uh, Altar Solovius, uh, check out the traditionalist tale, which is available in Source Horsemen. Uh, there's a link at the bottom of his bio. Now, one thing I do want to point out is the wonderful box art as done by Nate Bartsch, the uh, official artist of the uh, Four Horsemen Studios, right? Um, I, I can't even begin to describe what he's done here. I mean, it's, it's obviously a beautiful space theme. There's a, a lot of purple. You know, you got uh, Altar's bio on one side, and then you've got the outpost, Zaxius, on the other side. And on the back side of the box, you see all of the Cosmic Legions that have been released thus far. And I do want to mention the backdrops in the box make for excellent displays when it comes to putting these figures up. And now that we've taken a look at the box, let's take a look at what's inside the box. So he comes with three additional pairs of hands. You've got the weapons hand, looks like a, a trigger hand, and you know maybe a spell casting hand as well as a staff, which we have already seen with the Father Christmas and soft goods. Nice little wired hood, um, you know, excellent for posing. And then he has like this, uh, you know, kind of a sash, uh, you know, type of robe. And his skirt, and I know that's not what it's called, but it's got a great little wire going on in here. And then, of course, his, his little belt system. And check out the abs. He works out. You can tell he works out, right? Now, let's get into some articulation. Now, he is a, a repaint of the previous Greyborn that we've seen. So, your articulation is going to be similar, um, what we've come to expect. I will say uh, I, that, uh, you know, right out of the box, he was ready to go. But with any of your figures, especially, you know, those that you care about, I do always recommend warming them up and heating them up before you run them through the paces. But, you know, he's he's just gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Um and now let's check out some uh, size comparisons. And first up for the size comparisons, we have my main man, A.S. Sapidion. And yeah, and a little custom head, gave him some, some clothing there. But as you can see, they're, they're same size. And next I've got him with a Mezco Destro. Uh, he definitely towers above him. Really no surprise at all there because the Greyborn are taller than your average 112 scale figures. Next up, we have uh, Mythic Legion's Calavius uh, with a custom painted head. You know, gave him a little bit of pizz extra pizzazz there. Great figure. And yeah, Greyborn's taller. And so why not put him against uh, Arachagor, who clearly towers above him. But uh, hey, size is not everything. I'm, I'm sure they have a great battle, right? Both of these are just... Oof beautiful figures. 
And for the final size comparison, we have the Zombie SpongeBob that was printed and painted by my buddy Corey Schwarzenhofer. Uh, if you don't know, check him out. Um, he just, Steam Powered Mom on Instagram is just a, an amazing painter and he paints them fast, y'all. And no surprise, you know, I, I can't bring a figure into my house without introducing him to the fam. So we got Van on the Valiant Knight body. We got Jordan on a mashup body there, looking all wholesome. He's a warlock, you know. Then we got Richard Simmons, uh, you know, repurposed wizard body right there. And oh, there he is. There's Altar. He's got a PGG heart. And of course, we got our shooting the shelf bricks because uh, we always keep them things on us, right? And with that being done, you know, I just want to kind of get into my final thoughts on this figure. I am not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. I have been waiting for Altar to come out. I'm a big, big fan of the Greys, and this guy is just gorgeous. I mean, can't can't say enough about him. The, the paint apps, the gradient on the head. You know, he's got a different uh, different skin tone than the previous Greyborn release. A little more purple in this one. And, uh, hey, we, we know I like the purple, right? Um... Jordan refers to it as the Union Jack head sculpt, uh, shout out Euro Legions, but uh, you know, it's great. It's variations of purples and reds and, and you know, with the soft goods, he's just, uh, he's an imposing figure, you know. Oh, hey, hey, didn't see you there. Now get that hood off. Yeah, just a great figure. Um, I, I, I knew I was going to end up having the army build him and, and I, I highly recommend that you add him to your collection. You will not regret getting yourself a Cosmic Legion's Altar Silovius. Who, if you didn't already guess, definitely gets the Purple Gang Gang seal of approval. And hey, while I got your attention, have you checked out the Purple Gang Gang Live? We're here on this channel you're currently viewing every Saturday at 9 p.m. And uh, we, we have guests, we have shenanigans, and we give away free toys. So be sure to tune in for your chance to win and like and subscribe while you're there. And hey, if you know any other people that might could use some purple in their life, send them our way. Have a great day. Have a great week. Stay purple. Come see us again. Purple gang gang.